you know what we're gonna do here. Of course, we gotta hit the train with it. This thing's gonna, wait, what? What, wait, what? <laughs> what, how, how does this happen? What is going on? Oh, 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 okay, we broke the game. We, we broke brick rigs. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today is going to be kind of a mixed episode, we've got a couple of things planned here. First thing we're going to do, we're actually going to build a vehicle. I've been wanting to build a big rig, uh, we're going to start off with a cab here, and we're actually going to use some of the new updated parts in Brick Rigs. They have a new V12 engine, and they have these big off-road tires, so it's going to be probably one of the larger scale items that I've built. So we're going to do that. If you want to skip the time lapse, it ends at right around a little past the four minute mark. And then we're also going to check out some workshop creations, which we have some really awesome stuff here today, guys. But anyways, guys, remember, if you're enjoying Brick Rigs, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a whole lot and hope you enjoy the time lapse. All right, here is the Komodo diesel. I'm actually really happy with the way this one came out. Uh, we are using some of the new parts. It has been like two weeks since I've last played the game. So some stuff has popped up that I wasn't aware that were was in here until I looked at some release notes. And one of them is the, uh, the big off-road tire. That is actually really nice to see in this game because the only other big tire option we had before this was the drag racing tire. And I didn't like using it on certain creations other than race cars because it just felt weird. It felt like it didn't have much grip, but I'm really happy they added that and they added another engine and this is absolutely perfect for the game. They have a V12 engine now. Uh, we used to have the drag racing engine and then you had the little smaller ones and it was always kind of awkward trying to power a big vehicle like this 
because either you had way too much power, like the drag racing motor, or it was a little underwhelming like the other motors in the game. So we're going to test this thing out. It's loaded down with lights. I don't have any working trailer system on it yet. I do want to eventually add that, but right now for the amount of time I have, I just kind of went with this. Another thing I want to point out, these are uh, custom fender pieces. Uh, they do not have a fender or a wheel well that fits this big tire yet. So I really would like to see something like that come into the game very soon. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out in the city. All right, here is the Komodo diesel. It's all lit up. It actually looks really good and I love the way it drives. It finally feels like we have the right power ratio in the game. Uh, this thing drives really nice, especially with those big back tires. So yeah, there's a couple things that I need to figure out with it, but I'm going to continue working on this uh, thing. This is kind of the beginning. I would like to create a matching trailer. Now for today's episode, we are going to be checking out some viewer creations. And of course, we're going to smash stuff into the train. That's like one of my big things that I love to do. I like to test out the vehicle and then I like to test out how it smashes basically. So there's not one particular theme to today's video because I have a lot of workshop items that are kind of all over the board. But anyways, I'm going to test this thing out a little bit more. Um, it, it, it does have a little bit of a weird bounce. I'm noticing that in the rear tires, they do have adjustable suspension now. So it seems like maybe the rear tires need to be stiffened up a bit. Uh, I think the front tires are actually good. It's the rear tires. They've got this little bit of a bounce going on. You can see that happening there. Let's make sure everything else works. Uh, there's the brake lights. Those are working. We should have a reverse light. There, there they are. Okay, so those are working. You've got your headlights. Uh, I put the orange lights. They're set as beacon lights. So sometimes at night you see them driving down the road. They've got the orange lights on the side but I wanted that to be an option other than the uh, headlights. So anyways, let's go ahead and get one more little view of this here. Oh, that looks so sweet. It's actually quite big. So this is a uh, pretty proud of this one. So let's go ahead. We're going to hop in and you can hear the train in the background. It's so more is out there. And always when I build these things, I make sure to build them out of a lot of parts. Even if I have to use a bunch of small parts, that way when we smash them, they actually just blow up into a million pieces and it's fantastic. So anyways, let's go find that train real quick and we'll, uh, We'll run into it. All right, here she comes. Uh, the train's coming around the corner. We should be big enough to actually hop up on the tracks this time. Uh, this is always normally an issue, but with these big tires, this is going to work fantastic. And, oh, <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of the vehicle at? Oh, oh, you know what? That actually held up, uh, I want to say, well. Uh, maybe not. Let's go ahead and check out what it looks like. So, oh, there it goes. It just bursted into flames. A lot of people always tell me, and I know it's, you cannot move the train, you can't destroy the train, but we always try to get vehicles durable enough or explosive enough so when you hit the train it looks epic, but that actually worked pretty good. I actually want to do that one more time with this. I kind of don't want to fly out this time. I'd like to stay with the cab. All right, here comes the train, and I'm going to avenge the death of the other cab. I don't know what it was the last time I hit it, but it shot the character right out. And I don't think that is representative of the way this thing should crumble. So let's go ahead and let it hit us again. Pick up some speed. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Whoa, the whole cab came off. Okay. You know what? We might have never mind. I was going to say, hey, maybe we survived that. You know what they need to come out with? They need to come out with a roll cage and like a race. Ow. Okay, the cab just landed on me. Yeah, they need to come out with like a roll cage and maybe like a racing seat. Something that sticks together a little bit better. Oh, well, you know what? I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyways because it looks like the floor fell out, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Hey, look, the passenger seat's still there. I can still enter the vehicle. Oh, this is perfectly fine. Everything's okay, guys. We're good. The lights still turn on? Nope. Nope, they don't. It's broken. All right. So as one last durability test here, I don't think I've ever run into this thing before. I've run into the big one over there. Uh, this one is... I don't know, this might actually be very cool if I, if it actually does what I think it's going to do. I think it's going to just swallow us alive. So, let's go ahead and drive over. Durability test number two. And, wow, that is so underwhelming. Okay, well, I guess we passed that test. Let's go ahead and reverse out. Can I get out of this is the question. Yep, he just drives right out. You know what, we're going to run it into the big one and see what happens there. Uh, but one thing I do give to the developer, this game has gotten a lot more optimized. Uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing as far as blowing stuff up, uh, the last episode we blew up half the city, and it hasn't crashed in a long time. And it used to crash quite often, especially with the destruction 
and when you used to get a you used to get a lot of vehicles going at once and a bunch of parts. All right, so I've got one more test for the Komodo diesel as far as durability, and I think it's going to be running it through the grinder. If we somehow survive this, this vehicle is really durable. So let's go ahead and hit that. You know what? This <laughs> it works pretty good. It just jams up the grinder. Uh, you know, we lost most of the bottom of the creation, but. That is so awesome that I've even created something that doesn't even like go through the grinder. Oh, those pieces just went. Uh, the character goes too. Let's go ahead and hit this. There we go. <laughs> uh, ooh, you know what? There's one more thing I want to test. Do these run at different speeds? Oh, that one's definitely running faster. Okay, one more durability test here. Okay, last durability test before we move on to other creations here. You can see the, uh, the carcass of the other diesel over there. Let's go ahead. We're gonna round the corner here. Oh, oh, oh. It's so much more satisfying destroying your own creations. Like, I love destroying workshop creations, don't get me wrong, but when you create something like this, this is really rewarding. So let's see, oh, I'm gonna die here. Oh, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, what? Okay, we actually survived that. The cab perfectly landed on top of the grinder. Now, uh, if we hop off, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be devastating. So let's go ahead and just hop out of the cab here. Oh, you know what? That is kind of underwhelming. I figured that was gonna be much more devastating. Alright, I feel like we need to hit that one more time. Alright, I feel like we need to hit the durability test one more time. You can see parts of the diesel out there from the train. You've got the parts over here on the ramp. There's more parts off in the distance. Uh, and then we have what's left of it down here. We're gonna hit it to the side a bit. Oh no, I'm gonna land on it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is gonna chop off the cab. Ooh, wait, what? I don't... How is this withstanding all this punishment? The driver's still sitting in the cab. Okay. Well, you know what? I think the Komodo diesel... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on. What's happening here? What's happening? Okay, yeah, I think the Komodo diesel definitely passes this test because uh, it doesn't get more durable than that. All right, so I have a bit of a creation here. This is called the Airstrike by Face Ripping Monkey, and I absolutely love that name. Now, I don't really know what it is. I see thrusters, so obviously it's like a bomb like what we were using in the last couple episodes. But is this steerable is the question, so, I don't know, let's go ahead and go up and whoa, 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 okay. Alright, that is uh, it's much higher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, whoa, okay, wait, you know what, where is the skybox at on this map? Uh, let's see, are we getting closer? It seems like we are, okay, let's look down. That is ridiculous, okay, whoa, okay, creation's flipping out, creation's flipping out. Okay, oh, oh, we're doing flips, we're doing flips, okay, you know what? Uh, let's see. This thing doesn't actually steer, so... Hmm. Okay, so it's got a reverse thruster, and then it's got a forward thruster. Reverse thruster, forward thruster. Let's go ahead and get both going. I don't know where we're going to end up here, so hopefully we land on a building and we can actually see this thing explode, but other than that, there's no real steering on this thing. At least that I can tell. And we're still falling. Uh, I don't know if I'm suspended in air and we're actually not going down anymore. But it really seems like we're not getting closer to the map. I mean, we might be, but it's it's slow. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so here's another question. Are we outside of the boundary? Did we actually hop over the invisible wall? Because, uh, what? Okay, yes, we did. I didn't know you could go over that. Okay, so that's something we learned new in Brick Ricks today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's just go ahead and explode this thing on the ground. Okay, so since I don't want to go up and sacrifice myself with this thing, uh, we're going to just activate a couple of the thrusters on the ground. So let's hit maybe that one and that one. There we go. There we go. It should take off now. And whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, whoa. I'm hearing explosions like behind me. Okay. Well, that isn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. Uh, we had some really strong bombs last episode, but that does give me an idea for a later build, maybe a flyable missile that we can steer, because that's really the main problem I see with that is I want to be able to steer it, that way I can steer it like a cruise missile into a, uh, into a building or something or another creation. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out the next thing. All right, so we have probably one of the most stunning helicopters that I've seen in Brick Rigs. This is the KA-50 by, uh, I think his name is Martin. Uh, let's see. I don't know where to begin. I don't even know which country this is from. This is a little bit of one of those otter designed helicopters. It's actually got the double blades on it. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get in. Okay, it seems like... Okay, it is rolling. It does steer on the ground. Now, there should be an operation mode. I believe it's this here, so... 
All right, I can see the blades are starting to spin up. Now, question is, actually, I think they just take a while to get going here. All right, I don't think I've ever flown a helicopter before in Brick Rigs. This is a little bit of a new experience. Okay, all right, this is really sensitive. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. So uh, let's see, I'm trying to balance this thing out. Okay, here we go. We're getting a little bit higher here. There we go. Now, question is, I'm pretty sure this thing's got. Whoa, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. How do we? Okay. All right, there we go. Adjust altitude is actually your triggers. I'm using an Xbox One remote, by the way. Let's see. Oh, it's got guns on it. Ah, oh, it's got missiles. Ah, oh, that is awesome. Okay. Ooh, you know what? If I was a good enough pilot, I'd actually try to hit the uh, hit the plane from here or hit the uh, train. Uh, no, no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to get used to flying this. This actually isn't really bad. It's feels really stable. Now I don't know if. You know, it's kind of a standard thing once you build a helicopter, it's automatically fairly stable, but this is a nice, nice flight. Plus, we can go in, make some bombing runs, probably play some epic music in the background. Uh, every time I see helicopters flying and making these attack runs, I always picture, oh no, oh, 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 save it, save it, save it, save it. All right, there we go. Yeah, every time I picture like bombing runs or helicopter attack runs, I always picture Ride of the Valkyries in the background. It just reminds me of, uh, of course, they were using uh, Hueys at the time, the Apocalypse Now movie. It's a fantastic movie. It's a little old. Uh, probably not many of you kids are going to know of it. But I don't know. It just Every time I see something like that, I always picture the music in my background. And it's just, it's always so awesome. And oh, crap. That's going to be the invisible wall. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, really? Really? We just landed. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, stand up for this. Well. It's like, this is the only thing the game wants me to do. It's like, hey, guess what? You're flying in there. Let's land you on the train tracks conveniently. And oh, here it comes. The train is coming. You know, let's, uh, let's stand back here. I guess we're now going to have helicopter versus train. And, <laughs> whoa. That held up a lot better than I thought it would. It's really funny because the, uh, the rotors are still spinning. Oh, 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 never mind. Nope, nope, yep. It, they stopped. Well, that's actually a really cool creation. Uh, definitely, like I said, I will link everybody's creations in the description. So if you want to check out that helicopter, that's actually the first one I've flown. And now I kind of want to create one of those. So maybe we can have like a hybrid, I don't know, helicopter missile explosion helicopter. All right. So here's a creation by Trance. Now, he really is pushing the boundaries of the game here because this creation even gets a little bit of an FPS drop. And it, the reason I picked it, it reminds me a lot of my Zombie Buster. It's just a big armored apocalypse vehicle, and that looks sweet. And whoa, what's up with that? Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's not really a working suspension. Like, I was looking at the arms, how they were hanging it down. I thought maybe that actually went up and down, but it looks like it's on a standard uh, little suspension or axle piece down there. So, uh, what does this all do? Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out real quick. Uh, we don't want to disengage coupling. We want to actually, let's actuate this. Uh, wait, okay. Well, there's a door. Okay, maybe we do need to disengage this. Uh, let's see here. A and A. Oh! Oh, that breaks off. Okay, so... Can we... Oh, I can push that in. Come on! I need in! Uh, disengage. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, so apparently that's actually a door. I probably should actually move that out. Uh, you got a little, one of these little fire extinguishers. Here's a, uh, ooh, this is like a cannon here. Oh, that's cool. Got that. I don't know how he gets as much detail on the inside of his creations. This is insane looking. There's like another little room in here. Here's the uh, cockpit up here. Like, even the cockpits. You see the dash up here? It's got a steering wheel. These are sweet. Okay, let's see, uh. Actually, what does this button do? I've never activated the pump. Okay. I don't know. Is that supposed to protect us? Maybe if it gets hit, it like extinguishes fires. All right, let's go ahead. Drive this around. Ooh, that's got a lot of power to it. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, using the drag wheels here. I think he had a note that he did switch to off-road wheels, but he didn't like them as much or they weren't as stable. Uh, let's see. Is this thing, this thing fires. Okay. Oh, okay. It fires, it fires out its rear. There we go. It's got a little gun. Oh, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, there goes the building. All right, let's go ahead and... Whoa, no, 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 no. We don't want to go... We don't want to destroy it yet. Oh, I like this a lot. This is like a little drifting monster. It's got a little winch on the front of it. And you know what we're going to do here. Of course, we got to hit the train with it. This thing's going to... Wait, what? 
What? Wait, what? <laughs> what? How? How does this happen? What is going on? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we broke the game. We, we broke brick rigs. And look, it's still in one piece. How is this even possible? Okay, you know what? That wins any durability contest that I could ever, like, I, could, I don't know how you could really top that. Like, I don't, I don't understand that that wins any sort of durability contest. Like, I, people always ask me all the time, hey, you should build a really durable creation to go against the train. And I think we found it because I flew across the map, hit the invisible wall, and hit the highway, and still survived somehow. Alright, so now that we know we have pretty much a indestructible vehicle as far as the train goes, I mean, Trance has done an absolutely excellent job with this creation, and this is probably one of my new favorite Brick Rick creations, so I definitely suggest checking this out. Uh, we're going to test it one more time, see if that wasn't a glitch. Uh, train's coming around the corner, we're actually kind of lodged on the tracks here, the arms are scraping against the, uh, the rails. Uh, should be good to go here, here we go, here comes the train. And let's see. There we go. Oh. Whoa. What is up with this vehicle? I don't understand. Uh oh. Okay. And we're going again. All right. Yep. This is definitely. This vehicle cannot be destroyed. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Nope. Nope. Still there. Still survived. Still survived. Yep. This vehicle is absolutely awesome. And oh. Actually, you know what? Now we're stuck in it. Great. Hold on. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. <laughs> the vehicle's collapsing all around me. But anyways, guys, that's going to about do it for this episode of Brick Rigs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. If you have any ideas for Brick Rigs, go ahead and comment below. I'm open to pretty much anything, any builds or anything you want to see me do. Just do that. But anyways, guys, we will see you next time on Brick Rigs. And we're going to throw it off the building one more time here. One more time. Nope. Yep, it just bounces off. That's, that is amazing. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.